What's going on YouTube? This is I Talk Crushed Dreams here, and today we have a brand new video with another episode of Unpopular Opinions. And in this video, I want to talk about the big elephant in the room because we're getting close to Halloween. You knew this was going to be talked about. Will Skull and Ghoul Trooper and the Reaper Scythe come back to the item shop this Halloween? Now, I'm, I'll just say my opinion right now, yes. A thousand percent, yes. I think they're going to bring these back. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, why I'm saying this, is because there's no reason for them not to. Uh, the scythe, the, the Reaper scythe, I, I'll, I'll touch on this later, but I think the scythe, there's a good chance the scythe actually might not come back. But let's just get into Skull and Ghoul Trooper for now. The regular item shop items, the regular item shop item skins, re oh my god, they are regular item shop skins that are tied to halloween yes people will say oh it was for fort nightmares but who, who who's not to say fort nightmares is coming back this halloween that would just i feel like they would do that i feel like season six might revolve around halloween which would be awesome by the way i would love a season of just halloween for like two months three months wait yeah two and a half months i would love that i i, I think i'm i don't think i'm the only one who thinks that i think a halloween themed battle pass season would be insane just just throwing that out there i think that'd be cool but yeah skull and ghoul trooper yeah i do believe that they will come back into the item shop for halloween just makes sense to me because you have to think of it this way when they brought back the red knight right when they brought that back that tweet almost hit over 200,000 likes it probably actually hit it by now i haven't checked it in a while but you gotta think of it this way, a lot of people wanted Red Knight to come back, and it came back out, and they made a lot of money off of it, and I know they made a lot of money off of it, because you do see Red Knights pretty often, not maybe not so much anymore, but you do, you do see a lot of accounts with Red Knight on it, and not to mention, they bring her back, like, once a month now, like, they know, the, I've noticed with their item shop rotations, they'll put items in the shop that sell well, once a month. Love Ranger, Cuddle Team Leader, once a month. You see it once a month. Whiplash, at least once a month. Uh, Bright Bomber, you see it's 34 times she's been in the shop. She's in the shop almost every two weeks. So, they know what they're doing. They, they, they'll they put stuff in the item shop that sells well, and then they'll occasionally throw in that semi-kind of rare thing. Like, they just brought back, uh, I think it's called the Fighter Kite. I think it's called that glider. It wasn't, the, la the last time that was out was uh, April 9th, I believe. And Rockout was last out April 14th, so that's pretty crazy that they'll bring that back, but not the Rockout emote. It just seems crazy to me. So, what I'm trying to get at is, if Epic likes money, which, who doesn't like money? Uh, yeah, they're gonna bring the two skins back. Now, that that that, that is my opinion. Uh, Skull and Ghoul Trooper, maybe a day. Maybe they'll bring them out for a day. I don't know. It could be a day. It could very well only be a day. Um, I doubt they're gonna do that. But they'll probably be bringing them back. Uh, I, I've had a few people ask me, you know, if they do bring them back, do you think they're going to do anything where if you bought the Skull or Ghoul Trooper in the very beginning, like the first time around, like during 2017, do you think they're going to put like an OG patch on the skin? I don't think so. I think that's kind of dumb, honestly. But I do get where people are coming from. People want to signify, hey, I was playing the game during Halloween last year. And, you know, I have the skin. I bought it back then when people weren't really paying money for skins at the time because they didn't know how big the game was going to be. So I'm one of the OGs, rather, if I'm using air quotes here, OGs. I might That might have to be another whole video, like what defines as an OG. But the fact that with Skull and Ghoul Trooper coming back just makes the most sense to me. If they want to make money and it's not tied to a battle pass, it was in the item shop for 13 days, 10 days in a row. Can you believe that? Featured in the item shop 10 days in a row and then three days in November. Besides that, you know, they haven't seen the light of day. And I think that's because Epic is actually really... It, okay, if we're going back to what I said with how they only bring back skins often if they sold well, I doubt Skull and Ghoul Trooper sold that well back when they were first out in 2017. Because like I said, a lot of people weren't planning on spending money uh, around that time. So I wouldn't be surprised if when they do, if they do, if they do bring back Skull and Ghoul Trooper back, 
do you think that because they're obviously going to sell well you know they're going to sell well if they bring those two skins back they will sell like hotcakes i can promise you that they will you know it you know it you know they would it, the, the skins get so hyped up you know it would they would totally do it but sorry my brother kind of interrupted me as i was recording this but i was basically saying that yeah th with how hyped that uh, skull and ghoul trooper are there's no doubt in my mind that they wouldn't bring them back. It just doesn't make sense to me. They want to stop account selling, which is good because account selling is clearly not supposed to be a huge thing in the game. But if you go on Twitter, you'll see people giving away cracked accounts, which is totally not cool. Uh, I feel really bad for those guys that actually lost their accounts due to these people that are just cracking accounts right now. It's really shitty, honestly, and I don't really, I don't, I don't like it at all. But I think that if they're smart they will bring them back because if people are like listen i want to be known to be an og which honestly like i said do you does people I, I guess people really do care about og status but if you if you care so much about og status you played in season one you played in season two you have black knight you have all that that's fine that that's enough you don't need skull and ghoul trooper to, to tell you you're an og you really don't it's just a skin in the game so i don't i don't know but yeah, my final opinion, yes, I do believe they will bring the skins back, and I want to know what you guys think, but but before I end the video, we have to talk about the Reaper, which is the Scythe. Now, I do believe I do believe they'll bring this back too, but the the description, the description of this harvesting tool is one of the most confusing I've ever seen. So it it reads, uh, if I could find it right here, uh where is it where is it it says harvest resources and souls with the limited edition reaper pickaxe this is the most odd like sentence and like odd description i've ever heard for anything in this game really it's not part of any set which is fine because back then there was no sets really and it says limited edition but the the thing is with the limited edition thing is that it's been it's been out for seven days during the time that Skull and Ghoul Trooper were out. It was out for seven days, so it's not really limited edition. But that does beg the question, if it's actually limited edition to 2017, let's just say, then maybe it won't come back. And maybe the people that bought the Reaper pickaxe will be quote-unquote OG. I guess, yeah, they would be considered OG. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... I don't want to piss off any OG people, but yeah, I think that if you... If they don't bring back the Reaper pickaxe, there's hope for people that are like, oh, I want to be... OG, so I hope they don't bring the pickaxe back. Or I hope they, a lot of people don't want the skins to come back because it 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 is kind of a staple in the game where it's like, you know, if you see someone with these skins, they are very very uncommon. They are not seen often. They really aren't. So seeing it is is you know pretty rare. But then when Halloween comes around, if they bring the skins back, then it's like, oh, it's just a skull troop or whatever it doesn't really matter or anything so i do understand why people would be upset if they did not if they did bring the skins back but like i said i do believe they will bring the skins back as well as the reaper pickaxe however with the reaper pickaxe i don't know how they're gonna do it because like i said it says with the limited edition reaper pickaxe it seems like maybe it, they're not gonna bring that back that's the only confusing part skull and ghoul trooper they just say they're epic skins whatever but the Reaper pickaxe, for whatever reason, it says that. And it's got me thinking, will they actually bring that back or not? I hope they do. I like the pickaxe. I'm pretty sure you like the pickaxe. I'm sure you like the skins. But to the people that already have the skins, you probably don't want them back because maybe you you want to sell your account, which I'd never recommend you sell your account. And that's basically the commentary. I really hope you guys enjoyed talking with me. I talk Fortnite. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on the notifications just so you get all of my latest uploads. Comment down below what else you want me to talk about. I am open to talk about anything with you guys. I do have tons of videos planned right now. I'm working on them right now. As you see this video, you'll actually be seeing this video probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm recording this on Sunday because I really want to try to get daily uploads out to you guys because I think you guys fully deserve it and I really do appreciate your support. And also, we're actually going to beat my subscriber count on my main channel, which I had for eight years. In less than a month, I'm going to beat that subscriber goal. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Join me on Discord. Follow me on Twitter at italkfortnite. I'll talk to you all later. See, I don't want to make this video 10 minutes long. I'll see you guys later. Peace.
So I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you guys are gonna have to sit through a 10 minute video because I have an update to what I think about this whole situation. I do believe the scythe is going to be coming back and my only reason why I do believe it will actually come back is because I just got done watching the finals, the grand finals for the summer skirmish and if you could just see how many people were using the scythe, yeah it's kind of clear to Epic that everyone likes the scythe so I think they will bring the scythe back for Halloween. Sorry the video is 10 minutes long, it's not that big of a deal but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.